Hi, I'm Tracy Foreman with Aging Partners Health and Fitness. Today we're going to learn the eight forms of Tai Chi. Now there are actually over a hundred forms with Tai Chi, but today we'll be learning the eight modified forms. Those are the forms that help with balance and core strength. Teresa Stelic will be teaching these forms. They are slow and flowing movements. So get on your comfortable clothing, get in your comfortable shoes, and let's get ready to learn the Tai Chi movements. Hello. This morning we will be practicing Tai Chi. This is eight form and we will be compressing eight weeks of lessons into this 30 minute time period. So let's just begin with a little bit of warm up. We begin with warm up in every class and one warm up that we can do is called stop signs. We begin by looking at our right hand and just loosening up your neck muscles a bit and then drop one hand but raise the hand you are looking at. These are called stop signs. Um, one of my favorite warm-ups is the shoulder roll where your shoulders are up, back, and down. Another warm-up that we will be using is for our wrists. And in this one, sometimes we put our feet about hip width apart. We inhale, we exhale, bending into our knees. Inhale, exhale. It's also good to rotate your wrists to get them warmed up. Another really fun warm up is called the Tai Chi Twist. And now in the warm ups, I'm going to teach you some of the footwork you will need as we go through the eight forms. First, we'll start with the rock back. The rock back is done by and starting with your left foot heel down first. In most of our Tai Chi moves, we go heel down first. And by the way, when I am facing the camera, I will be doing what's called mirroring. So when I say uh, right foot for you, I will be putting out my left. But at home, watching this DVD or TV program, you would put out your right foot. So let's begin with the rock back. We will begin with your left heel out first, then rock into it, just bending your knee slightly. Pick up your left toes, um, pivot on your left heel, and step up. That's one rock back. Then you will put your right heel out, rock into it, rock back, which means pick up your right toes, pivot, step up to it. So you can continue pra practicing those rock backs. You will see them uh, used in some of the eight forms. Another move that we do is a side to side move and we'll start by putting your left heel out, shift your weight to your left leg and then bring your right toes in, switch your weight, left heel, right toes, left heel, right toes. Then we'll go back the other way. This is used in a form called wave hands like clouds. Sometimes it's easier to learn the forms if you work on the feet first and then the hands or vice versa. In another form called repulse monkey, we will be stepping back. You will be stepping back on your left foot first. And when we step back, we step to the ball of our foot and we lean back. We bring our right um, toes in and this is called a kickstand. You can use a kickstand with your toes or with the ball of your foot. Now you'll take your right foot back, ball of the foot first, transfer your weight and in. Those are a quick warm up and just a review of some of the footwork. When we begin Tai Chi, we try to inhale and exhale. We try to leave all our other worries aside and just focus on our Tai Chi forms. We begin with what's called the Wuji stance, um, sometimes referred to as the commencing form. Once again, I'm gonna try to mirror when I'm facing you. So when I say your right, 
I will actually be using my left. And then when I will turn my back to you and we will do the forms together. I'm gonna teach you the first, uh, the beginning forms, three of them, including the commencing form. And then I will turn my back to you and we will practice. Then we'll continue uh, on learning the rest of the forms. So Wuji stance begins like this. You're standing with your shoulders up, back and down. And take a nice inhale. You step out to your left with your left heel down first. Hands up gently with your elbows slightly bent. Hands down, knees. And then you move over to have the weight on your right foot. And this is the first form. This is called hold the ball. Hold the ball is really important because you're going to see it between each form. It's where we know we are ready to do the next form when we hold the ball. So you are holding the ball on your right. That means your right hand is on top and most of the weight is on your right leg. I just have my kickstand um, ready to keep my balance. Now I'm going to switch the ball. I'm going to put, or I want you to please put your left heel down. Rotate your ball. Your ball should be about the size of a beach ball and it should be in your center or your core. Never higher than your chin and never lower than your waist. Now we're gonna rotate the ball again. So hold the ball on your right. And it, once again, it's on your right because you are on your right leg, your right hand is on top. That's the beginning form. Number two form is called part the horse's mane. And then this one, you place your left heel out and bring your left hand up. So you're kind of looking at your left hand. It's like parting a horse's mane. Now we do our rock back, step up to it, and we're holding the ball on the left. Part the horse's mane to the right. Right heel out, right hand up. Rock back, come back to hold the ball on your right. When you're holding the ball on the right, you know you're ready for a new form. Form three is called single whip. In single whip, you take your top hand and place it out. Your other hand would be pushing. And the tricky part about this is if you are able to take your left foot and place it down. You go heel down first, almost always. In this form, we have formed a 90 degree angle with our arms and a 90 degree, degree angle with your feet. So if you'll just look at your feet, the heel should be intersecting your arch at 90 degrees. We rock back, we pivot, and now you're at hold the ball on your left. So we're going to do single whip to the right. Top hand out, right heel out, and kind of sink into the single whip. Pivot on your right heel, step up and you're at hold the ball on the left. I think at this point I'm going to turn away from the camera so we can practice the Wuji stance and the first three forms together. So once again, Wuji stance, shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, begin by putting your left heel out. Inhale, exhale. Hold the ball on your right. Hold the ball on your left. Hold the ball on your right. Now we're going to do part the horse's mane to your left. Left heel out, part the horse's mane. Rock back, pivot to the front. Step up to hold the ball on the left. Part the horse's mane to the right. Right heel out, right hand up as you part the horse's mane. You might notice my other hand is about hip level. Rock back, pivot on the right, and step up to hold the ball on the right. 
Because we're at hold the ball on the right, we know we're starting a new form. And the third form is called single whip. Top hand out, your left heel out at a 90 degree angle, your left arm pushing at a 90 degree angle. Notice that my arms are a little bit bent, as is my left knee. Rock back, pivot on your left heel until you're holding the ball on the left. Now, single whip to the right. Top hand out, and as you put your right heel down, you push out with your right hand and sink into it. Rock back, pivot, hold the ball on the right. So we just ended with hold the ball on the right. And whenever we're at hold the ball on the right, we know we're ready for the next form. The next form is called wave hands like clout. This is the form where we make three side steps to the left and then three side steps to the right. We begin with hold the ball on the right. So the weight is on your right foot, your right hand is on top of the ball. We're ready now to do a side step. Place your left heel down, shift your weight, and at this point you begin waving your hands like clouds. Left heel down, right toe in. This is the third one. So when I bring my right toe in, I am not going to shift weight because now I'm going to take my right heel down and my left toe in. Right heel down, left toe in. This is my third one, so I'm just going to stop at hold the ball on the right. This is one of the challenging forms, so I just want to show you the hands so you can practice wave hands like clouds. What we usually say is hold the ball on the right and then think of a mirror and wiping the counter. A mirror and wiping the counter with your other hand. So you are looking in the mirror while you're doing your housework. Doesn't that sound wonderful? And once again, Let's try that one again before we go, uh, turn around. Hold the ball on the right, wave hands like clouds. Your left hand is the mirror, your left heel goes out. Your right hand is the mirror, your right toes come in. Left heel, left mirror. This is the third one. So when we bring our right toes in, we just start moving to the right. Please try to remember to put your heel down first. It's one of the things that really helps with your balance. And then we've finished three to the left and three to the right, and we are back to hold the ball. Let's practice those four with my back to you. Wuji stance, inhale, begin by stepping to your left, heel down first. Inhale. Exhale, hold the ball on the right, hold the ball on the left, hold the ball on the right. Part the horse's mane to the left, left heel out, left hand up. Rock back, pivot, hold the ball on the left, part the horse's mane to the right. Right heel out, right hand up. Rock back, pivot, hold the ball on the right. Um, the next form is single whip. Single whip is where your top hand goes out, your left heel and your, hand and your arm are 90 degrees. So your arms are at 90 degrees, your feet are at 90 degrees. Rock back, pivot, Step up, single whip to the right, right heel, 
Now we're ready for wave hands like clouds. This is the side step. Left mirror, left heel. Left mirror, left heel. This is the third one, so when you come in with your right toes, do not switch your weight, but rather wave hands like clouds to the right. This is the third one, so we stop at hold the ball on your right. The next one called Repulse Monkey is the backward movement. In Repulse Monkey, you will take a backward step, left foot first, you'll shift your weight and come together. Right foot, back, come together. Let me show you how to do that with the arms included. So we've been holding the ball on our right, so we put our left foot back and we, sometimes we say we repulse the monkey, then we welcome the monkey, then we say we throw a pie at the monkey so we can get back to hold the ball on our left. Now repulse monkey to the right, right foot back, go away, come on and I'm throwing the pie, and when I throw the pie, that lets me come back to hold the ball on my right. So now we're ready to do brush knee. I always laugh at brush knee because I think it really should be called brush, um, brush your thigh. So I don't want you leaning down. One of the things we always say in eight form Tai Chi is to stay erect. Sometimes you can think of a golden thread to the sky. So please do not lean forward, just brush the top of your thigh. So you're holding the ball on your right, that means your right hand is on top, most of the weight is on your right foot, and your left foot is just the kickstand. You're going to take your bottom hand or your left hand and do a brush as you put your left heel out and then kind of lean into it. But notice that my golden string up to the sky is straight. I am not leaning forward. Please do not do that. That really compromises your balance. So brushing the knee, I rock back, I pivot, and I come to hold the ball on the left. Brush knee on the right. Right heel went out, I brushed my right leg, rock back, and pivot forward. The next move is called Fair Lady Works the Shuttles. In Fair Lady Works the Shuttles, you're holding the ball on your right when to start, so your left heel will go out, and in this case, your bottom hand sweeps up, and this is what Fair Lady Works the Shuttles looks like. Please notice that both of my feet are down flat, and hopefully my alignment is straight gonna rock back, step forward, hold the ball on the left. Now I'm going to uh, fair, do the form called Fair Lady Works Shuttles. This is form number seven, to the right. Your bottom hand swings up and give a push. Your knee is a little bit bent. Rock back and hold the ball. Okay, we have one more form to learn, and that is grasp the peacock's tail. Then we will go through all the forms a few times together. In grasp the peacock's tail, just as at the beginning of every other form, you are holding the ball on your right. Grasp the peacock's tail, left heel out, left hand up, and your right hand just swings casually to the back. Bring your right hand up as if you were holding a large grapefruit. Rotate it so that your thumbs are forward. Swing down. And this is the most complex part of grass the peacock's tail. You have to do a reverse clap. And notice in my reverse clap, my palms are together and my fingers are opposite. So you reverse clap, you're down like this, palms together, fingers opposite. 
then you push with your right hand. Notice my back foot is down. Both of my feet are flat. I take my right hand and roll it over the top of the left. I pull back, but when I pull back, my, uh, my feet stay on the floor. And I give a push. Now I do my rock back, rotate on my heel, step up to hold the ball on the left. Now I'm going to show you, um, grasp the peacock's tail to your right. Right heel out, right hand up, swing your left hand up, rotate your grapefruit, swing down, another reverse clap, and push, sorry I did that backwards, push, your left hand rolls over, parry or pull back, push, and come forward. And then we're ready to do our closing. Now I'm going to turn around and we're going to practice all eight forms together. Wuji stance. Inhale, Begin, left foot out, inhale, exhale, hold the ball on the right, hold the ball on the left, hold the ball on the right, part the horse's mane to the left, left heel, left hand, feet are flat. Rock back, hold the ball on the left, part the horse's mane to the right, right heel, right hand, rock back, pivot, step up to it, single whip, left heel and left hand. Your feet are flat and you're at 90 degrees with both your arms and your feet. Rock back. Pivot, hold the ball on the left. Single whip to the right. Top hand out, right heel down. Rock back, pivot. So now we're ready for wave hands like clouds. Left heel, left mirror. Second. And this is the third and final to the left. Now we move to the right. Right heel, right mirror. This is the third. So now we just drop in to hold the ball. We're ready for repulse monkey, which is the one backward movement. Move your left foot back. Shift your weight. Go away, monkey. Welcome, monkey. I'm throwing a pie at you, and you step back. Now, a repulse monkey to the right. Right toes back. Go away. Come on. And I throw the pie. And here I am at hold the ball on the right again. Remember, when you're holding the ball on your right, you're ready for your next movement. The next movement is brush knee. Brush, rock back. Now brush to your right. Right heel, brush. And I'm at hold the ball on the right. So I can do fair lady works the shuttles to the left. The bottom hand or left hand comes up as my left heel comes out. Please notice that my feet are flat. Rock back, pivot, hold the ball on your left. Fair lady works the shuttles to the right. Right hand or bottom hand comes up as your right heel goes out. Fair lady works the shuttles. Rock back, step up to it. Now I'm ready to do grasp the peacock's tail. Left heel out, left hand up. 
Right hand swings up. Rotate your large grapefruit. Down. Reverse clap. Push. Right hand rolls over the top of the left. Parry. Deflect or push. Come to the front. Hold the ball on the left. Grasp the peacock's tail to the right. Right heel out. Right hand up. Sweep your left hand up. Rotate that grapefruit. Sweep down. Reverse clap. Push. Roll your left hand over the top. Parry. Deflect. Pivot on your right heel. Now we're ready for the closing. In the closing, you just float your hands down. You cross. Deep breath, down and in. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I'd like to do some cool downs with you. And um, part of the cool down, we'll just practice a rock back because you'll need to do that in most of the forms. The rock back would be heel out, lean in, pivot, step up. Rock in. Pivot, rotate, or pivot and step up. Remember, in most of the forms, you put your heel down first, whether you're moving a little bit forward or whether you're moving side by side. The only exception would be in Repulse Monkey when you are moving backwards. Then you would put the ball of your foot down first. Please feel free to always use the kickstand when you are holding the ball. Another thing to remember is if you're holding the ball on your right, most of the weight is on your right, your right hand is on top, and the ball is about the size of a small beach ball. I'd like to do a few cool downs with you. One of the cool downs is called um, calming our chi. Tai Chi is meant to be very restful and relaxing. But when you're first learning, I know that's not the case. So let's quiet our chi. My feet are about hip width apart. My knees are slightly bent. I'm just quieting my chi. And I can extend. And I inhale through my nose. And if you're quite warm at this point, you can exhale through your mouth. When you take a class, we'll really focus on the deep breathing part of Tai Chi, the inhale and the exhale. This is called wall of water, so you can just imagine a cool wall of water trickling down your fingers. And once again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed the eight forms and you will continue practicing. If you like a copy of today's program or if you like information about any of the health and fitness programs being done in the community through Aging Partners, please contact our office at 402-441 7575